by fiber as a kind of prosthesis have like compatible fibers. So we're gonna start, uh, since we have a lack of time, it's very short, we're gonna start with a few cases as demonstration and with it, then we're gonna go in more details. So we start with a case that, as you can see, boneless and it had three sessions up to 9,000 fibers. And this is before and after. And with another example, <coughs> there was a genetic alopecia and 2,000 fibers in two sessions. The first session was a test, a tolerance test, and the second session was a full session. Another example of a male, 36 years old, 6,600 fibers in three sessions. So now, we're gonna discuss what is it and how and the budget and the duration. As we can see the first situation, we have on the male here, before and after, 1,800 fibers. The duration it took two hours and a half with the preparation. The second situation, the female, it was one hour and a half and in 1,000 fibers. How invasive, it is exactly invasive as a 25 gauge needle. So let's go for the more details. What is biofiber? It's highly biocompatible artificial hair-like fibers made of biocompatible ingredients and covered by a keratin shield and an anti-inflammatory coat. Also, it has an identical aspect from the thickness to the palpable part materials as a natural hair follicles. Then, it's implanted by automatic biofiber hair device. The pathophysiology and the mechanism of delivery. So we deliver the fibers to the subgaleal space. And as we know very well, the subgaleal space, we have a very high process of fibrosis. And the uh, knots on the base of the fibers is gonna be fixed in the subgaleal space after the occurrence of the fibrosis. And after the fibrosis process, we have to take place, a fiber can handle an average 450 grams around 4.5 Newton traction. So, the pathophysiology, and we talked about a biopsy. So we have within the pseudo infandibula, we can find a compact keratin of layer adherence close to the fibers. In the middle and in the deep reticular dermis, the fibers are surrounded by a small amount of focally granulomatous chronic infiltration. So in the deep dermis, and in the hypodermis, the fiber are surrounded by fibrophagia, and no inflammatory infiltration is noticed. So we're gonna talk about the automatic biofiber hair system. We have the top performance in the new automatic biofiber. It's the last version 3.0. The implantation speed is up to 1,000 fibers per hour. And in two hours, we can reach a full biofiber unit session of 2,000 fibers. And the accuracy of implantation on traumatic scars, it's more accurate than the manual part. And we're gonna have some indications for the use of this technique. So, first of all, about the diffuse hair loss and hair thinning. And when we need an, an ASA, an immediate aesthetic result is needed. And also when patients ask for soft surgery, less intervention without hospitalization or down, downtime for recovery. And we can consider sometimes as a hair restoration method, interventional one, we can consider the first line for female alopecia. Since there is no donor area, no harvesting, and no bleeding, and we have to leave no scars. Also, it's very efficient in the scar correction. Since sometimes the scar correction depends on the scar, we have a lot of fibrosis, and the blood circulation is very poor sometimes in their area, so we're gonna have, for normal hair transplantation, we could have a very poor outcome and result. And also we can use it as an integration between natural hair uh, transplantation methods, such as FUE, FUT, and biofiber, since not every time we can obtain the optimum result, a full density, as the patient needed. So we can use, after a natural session, after two months, we can go for 
a biofibre herring plantation to, to achieve the final density. Also, when I look back to the scars, it's very highly indicated in the scars, and I can show an example right here, uh, as a result of accidents, burns, and fibro fibrotic scars. As we said, since the other hair restoration methods, on fibrotic scars have weak upcoming results. So we can see a patient before and after. For sure, type of fibers was chosen to be curly and short length. Advantages. So, the automatic hair device can provide to the doctors higher accuracy and correct implantation area and depth. Less traumatic and less downtime and implant session faster. So, we have high biocompatible fibers up to 98%. Also, the hair density is very high in a few hours. The result, the final result, we get it immediately after the session. Also, it doesn't interact with other forms of hair transplantation, as since it can be used as an integration between other forms of hair restoration, natural ones, and the biofiber method. And also, it, the implant from the natural hair follicle, it differs because we don't implant in the same depth. In biofiber method, we implant the superior space. So it's more deep and doesn't interact with the structure to each other. As we say, natural and immediate aesthetic result. And if it's well implanted by the protocol, it's very hard to be distinguished, distinguished between the normal hair follicle and the fibers. Also, it's totally reversible. So in case of patient want to remove it or to change it or to go first for biofiber and then for natural hair restoration method, it's totally reversible. And it allows a normal and sporty life. And also less restrictions and the long duration of lifetime. Since an implant of biofiber, it can last between six to seven years. So we have here an example for the scalp in the implantation area, post three months on the, of an implant session. So as you can see before, we can see the scalp aspect, and after the biofiber implant for three months. So it's not very easy to distinguish between the follicles and the fibers. Also, we can speak very fast about the safety. So we have a patient, a female, 39 years old, presented with androgenetic alopecia, dealing with the follicles, decreasing number. So as you can see, here we have the hair follicles. And post two months, we can still have the hair follicles in the same place, and in the depth we have the fibers surrounded by fibrosis. So in the hypoechoic aspects, in the fibrosis, and the fibers in the deep, in the depth layer. And in the more superficial part, we have, up to the galia, we have the normal Follicles, so there is no interaction between each other. And as we can see as a dermatoscopic picture, before we can see the implant area between the two signs, and after the implant area between the two signs, it's two months post implantation. So another question again: it's FUE, biofiber, of or both? As we said, there is no limit to imperfect that. So. We have an example here, he went for FUE two times with poor outcoming result. And then he had just one session of biofiber of 2,000 fibers. Also, we're gonna go for some examples. Another example of 2,000 fibers, 30, 53 years old, before and after. For sure the color will change since the patient can choose the color of the fibers. Another example of 800 fibers, 38 years old. Another example, as we talked about before, 9,000 fibers. Another example of 2,500 fibers. Another example of 600 fibers, patient 37 years old. And we have here a patient that wanted a small change not a very obvious change from the beginning. So he had just 400 fibers implanted diffusely, most focused in the frontal part. So this is before and after. And the picture is immediately after the session. And thank you so much.